Hi all, it's Gav here from DancePlanet.tv. Thanks for joining me as always. And in today's video, it is week two of the Dance Planet TV weekly Premier League show where I involve you subscribers to come on and chat about your predictions and your thoughts for, um, for the Premier League. And in today's show, I have got Sam from Holland. So hi Sam, thanks for joining me today. Thanks, happy to be here, thanks. How you doing, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine, yeah. Now I hear you play at a really good level of darts and had 11 dart yourself, which is, is a million times better than, than anywhere I'd ever get near to. Yeah, yeah, just practice a lot and you'll get better, yeah. So you play lots of tournaments, obviously, in Holland and different things? Yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, almost uh, every week I play tournament, yeah, so. Excellent. Well, what me and Sam are going to be doing is, like I say, week, um, week two is on February the 8th. It's from 7pm. It's live on Sky Sports. Um, last week at the Free Arena was obviously awesome, guys. Please do check out my uh, review video from that. You'll see at the end. But me and Sam are going to be talking about this week's from the Motor Point Arena in Cardiff. Now, the opening match this week, we've got the bully boy Michael Smith against Super Chin Daryl Gurney. Uh, Michael Smith last week um, beat Anderson 7-5. He had an 89.12 average, while Super Chin had a draw with Barney, um, a 93.2 uh, free average there. So I'm um, really looking forward to this one. What are your thoughts on this game, um, Sam? I think it's going to be a really nice game. Two aggressive players, so yeah, it could be nice. I think it's going to be 7 4 for Gurney, yeah. You think Super Chen's going to win this one? Um, I, I've got a feeling for some reason I'm going to go for Bully Boy. I know last week obviously he beat Anderson 7-5 um, but it, it weren't how he wanted to win it really. Anderson's a lot out of sorts but I think it'll have done his confidence good. Obviously took him to a week 5 last time in the Premier League to get some points. I think he's going to be confident. I'm going to go for Smith to beat Super Chin in this one. I'm going to go for a 7-5 win. Um, so yeah, I've just got that sneaky feeling. Next up, we've got Voltage Rob Cross against Simon Whitlock. Uh, Cross last week um, in the anticipated game against MVG lost seven two. Simon Whitlock come come. I don't know where it come from. Had the highest average of the night, a one oh six point four nine against Seljevic. Um Just shows that he can still mix it when he wants to. I think Rob Cross has got loads. Yeah. To Oh, I think Rob Cross has got loads to prove in this one, uh, Sam. Um, what are your thoughts on this match? Yeah, when I saw, saw Rob playing, I thought he was a bit nervous, but he still just managed to get almost 100 average. But, yeah, yeah. Whitlock just played superbly. And, yeah, I, I, I think it's going to be a nice game. Yeah, it just Whitlock can play as yes uh, last week. It's going to be 6-6 six, six for me, yeah. What do you think to Rob <laughs> Oh, what was that? I don't know what that was. Um, sorry about the noise there. Obviously, we are on Skype, guys, so it is picking up some sound, so I do apologise for that. Um, just what I was going to say is, what do you think to Rob Cross at the moment and the way he's playing? Um, obviously, since winning the Worlds, he, he lost last week to uh, MVG. Um, the Unibet Masters, Sullivich beat him. His, I see that Corey Cabby beat him yesterday in the UK Open qualifiers. Obviously not able to get as much practice, but I'm seeing a few chinks in his armour that I didn't think were there. Um, what are your thoughts? Thoughts on this? Yeah, he just had a perfect start at, at the beginning of the PC, but yeah, just had to li just had to be a little dip now, and I think it's gonna be now. I don't know how long it's gonna be take, but I think he will play better uh, this uh, Thursday. Well, I'm going to agree with you on this one. I think Whitlock had an opening week. He's going to have loads of confidence from it. Rob Cross in it is best. I'm also going to go for a 6 old draw. Next, we've got the Dutch MVG, Mikey, uh, Mighty Michael Van Gerwen against uh, Peter Snakebite Wright, my favourite player. As we just said, Van Gerwen last night, um, last week opened up with a 100.8 uh, average against Cross. Peter Wright had a 92.13 average and obviously drew with Gerwin Price. What are your thoughts on this one, Sam? Yeah, I was surprised by Wright. He played with totally different darts again. Yeah. yeah, he just had to win. He let Gerwin in. Yeah, he just had to get two points. But I think it's going to be hard for MVG this week. Yeah, I think it's going to be 7 5 for MVG. Yeah. MVG. I think, yeah, I agree with the darts. I don't quite know what's happening with um, Wright and his darts at the moment. I know recently, or only a few months back, that Red Dragon had made him some his perfect darts and he was playing with them. And he'd get awesome averages for some of them. Then he'd go with something totally different. I think these darts he was using a couple of years ago, when he was in, or a few years ago, when he was in the world final against MVG. I don't understand it. Um, I think that Gerwin 
Kevin Price had a great opportunity to beat him. I don't know what he's going to do this week, but I can safely say it isn't going to be with them same darts. But I think MVG is oh. going to have too much for him, and I'm going for MVG to win this one 7-4. Uh, yeah. So next up, we've got Iceman Gerwin Price against Gary Anderson. Now, this is the match that I want to see um, more than any. That is the highlight match for me. Obviously, in Cardiff as well. Uh, obviously, Price being Welsh. Um, last week, he had the draw against Peter Wright. He had a 93.51 average. Anderson was well out of sorts. I going 5 1 up and losing to Smithy. But he had a really bad average of just 82.46. We know that Gary Anderson um, at the moment is is suffering badly with his, his back and is not right. And I hope he can put it right. But the thing for me is, is Gerwin Price. Um, in his hometown, especially what Anderson said after after the um, Unibet Masters at the end of the interview when Anderson came out and said, if Gerwin Price can't beat me with a bad back, he needs to go back to the drawing board. Well, this is a huge grudge match. And how do you see this one going? Yeah, I believe when Gary is really angry at someone, you will just demolish the opponent. Yeah, so, and if just his back is good, I think it's going to be 7-2 for, uh, for uh, Anderson, yeah. You think Anderson's going to win this one easy? Uh, Anderson, I think he did pull out of the um, UK Open qualifiers and that this weekend just to try and give himself, uh, you, you know, obviously with the Premier League being relentless week in, week out. I'm, I'm hoping he's going to be um, back at his best. I think that Anderson is going to win this one. I'm going to go for him to win only 7-5, though. Um, he's going to want the beat price more than anything, but I think he's still going to have niggles, so it's going to be closer than what it would be if he was... 100% fit. Um, the final match of the evening, uh, your favourite player, yeah. RVB, Raymond. Raymond Van Barneveld, against uh, Mencius Suljevic. Uh, Raymond last week had a 93.78 average. Um, obviously, Joram with Gurney, 6 all. While Suljevic had an awesome 103.71 average um, in his, his defeat to Simon Whitlock. What are your thoughts on this one? And I bet you're not going to be back in the, uh, I bet you're not going to be going against Barney, are you? No. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what it was with Raymond last week, but he just looked that confident. And I think, yeah, if yeah, Manchester is always hard to beat, you know that. But I think RB will put it over the line. I think it's going to be 7 5 for him. Yeah. What are your thoughts on? Can I just ask why we've got you on this? And what are your thoughts on Barney? You know, because obviously he's a quality player. He's won loads of majors um, over the years. Everybody loves him. But he still gets. Um, at times, I think he's definitely got another major in him, but there's times when he just looks really, really disinterested and don't seem to care like he used to a few years back. Can you see him winning another major? Um, how many more years do you think Barney's going to stay in the game? Um, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I think Raymond will play another five years or something. Yeah. So he's at one time, so... and. I think he's not gonna win a major. Maybe he gets a lot, uh, gets a far in the world championship because he gives all his in 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 the world championships. So yeah. Maybe he's gonna win that, but otherwise I don't think and he will win. You don't think he's gonna win another one? I still is is one player, but when he is playing against MVG in any match, I always think yeah. Barney is the, whether it is the respect thing, but MVG obviously looked up to Barney for so many years as being the Dutch number one and different things like that. I don't know, it's, it's, I, I think he's got another major in him, it's just whether he can, can hold it together and don't go through that, like I found his interview really strange the other week as well, it was like, mm, yeah. it's just not, yeah. not him really. Yeah, I understand you, yeah. So what was your score on that last one, sorry, what you're going for? Uh, 7 5 for Raymond. Yeah. 7 5 to Raymond. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for a 6 all draw. I don't know why. I think Solivich had a good average last week. He chucked it away a little bit, I think. Um, but I think that it's going to be a 6 all draw. So, um, pretty much, guys, that's our roundup for night two of the um, Premier League from the Motor Point Arena in Cardiff. As I said at the start of the video, it's on Sky Sports. It's from 7 pm. Um, it's going to be a thriller between Price and Anderson. I can't wait. Actually, I've just got to say this to you guys. I'm actually going to be missing this match because I'm driving up to Scotland that night. It's about an eight-hour drive for me. So I'm going to be doing this one on catch-up. So absolutely gutted about that. But as always, guys, I want to thank you for watching um, this episode with Sam. I hope you've enjoyed it, Sam. Thanks for joining me yeah. today. Much, yeah, it was nice. Yeah, thanks.
Brilliant. Uh, great to talk with you. Um, as always, guys, I will be looking for another subscriber to come on for next week to talk the Premier League week three and um, preview it. As always, don't forget to check out dartsplanet.tv. We've got loads of awesome um, videos going on there. If you've not subscribed to the channel already, please do. Uh, don't forget to turn your notifications on, leave a like, and I'll catch you guys next week. Thank you as always, guys. It's been a blast. Bye.